four fundamental motivations. Existence is based on I can, I like, I may, I should. And therefore, I will, I have in an agreement, in a yes. I give, I would like to give you a short flash to show you the stories which are deeper with what we have to deal with when we work with these motivations. The ability of being in this world, first dimension. Can I be here? If you ask yourself, what feeling do you have? Can I really be in my world? Wow, this is so philosophical. My world, what's my world? Now, this is my world. Can I be here? Do you know how we can check that in the easiest way? Look at your breathing. When I can be here, I can breathe deeply and the breath is going freely. When I observe a difficulty to be there where I am, my breath is pressed, reduced, superficial. When I have anxiety, I breathe superficially. In depression, we almost stop breathing. When I'm insecure, if I can be there, for instance, in an application interview, the breath is superficial. So, this is a perception, a whole body perception of the situation which we have. And therefore, breathing plays a role in this first dimension of existence. Take a deep breath and check it, how easily it goes or not. And the body tells you what we unconsciously perceive of the situation. And sometimes I tell my clients or patients, interrupt our talk and say, because I feel they don't breathe and I don't want to continue the, the, the therapy when they don't breathe properly. Because the therapy will become superficial if they don't deep breathe deeply. So, can we take three deep breaths? And I do it with the clients because it's also healthy for myself and it is supporting their, <laughs> their activity. Can I be here? Can I be in this world? My world is also my partnership relationship, my family, my working place. How well can I be there? Am I really there? When I not, cannot be here, I become insecure, anxious. And then we have coping reactions, automatic behavior. We do not go into it. It's just to, to show you this building when, as, while we are passing by. Avoidance flight. Paradoxical reaction, attacking, attacking, aggression, freezing reflex. To be able to be here means that I can deal with what is there. I can accept with what is there. I can endure what is there. I can accept, for instance, to be able to be in a relationship means that I can accept the 
the difficult sides of my partner. He's never arranging his socks in the, in the sleeping room. So hard to live with that. But there are often little things which are so difficult to accept. Accept? What does it mean? I can let it be. I can say yes to what is there. Some things I should not accept. So I'm telling my partner, please, can you arrange your dirty socks by yourself? They are so stinky. Do it, please, by yourself. My partner is loving me, and he does it. Three days. The fourth day, it's the same. I'm going to repeat the same. He does it again, maybe four days this time. And the fifth day, it's the same. And many things happen like that in our, in our life, in our relationships. And what are we going to do then? Either you have to divorce or to do it by yourself. Because the change of a partner lasts a life long time. He, some people are of that, are that way, that they do not have a feeling for changing or for, for remembering. They, they try, but then they forget. It, it's not up in their horizon. It, it, what can we do? Acceptance means to be with that what is there. Trying to change as much as we can, but with that what is not changeable or what will be a relapse, to live with that. When my client in therapy does not do that progress which I liked him or her to do or to, to perform, I still love working with him or her. I accept him or her. And this is so healing, when people experience that they are accepted. But this has to be learned. This is something which is a central mark in our training, that we learn to accept better other people, their behavior, ourselves. We are not always happy with whatever we do. And then when we have a, an aggressive reaction again, and we say after, oh, why did I do it again? I don't want to be like that. But for the time being, I'm so. I hope I can grow. In the morning we said we are in a world of development and it can change and I can contribute. But things go slowly, take their time, and something, some things will not change. Acceptance. Do I have to do with acceptance in my life? What is it? How am I? Am I strong in acceptance? Or am I weak in acceptance? Do I have difficulties to, with acceptance? Or can I accept easily? Or with, in which area it's easier for me to accept and in which area I'm very strict or <laughs> it's hard to accept? Without acceptance, there is no moving forward. There are only fixed reactions which inhibit me to grow, to develop. There are prerequisites just to give you an idea. There are different levels. We can, when the acceptance the or the endurance is not working, then we go a story deeper and look at, do you have enough protection, enough space, enough support? If I do not have support, if I do not feel support, if I do not feel a basis, if I 
feel in danger, not enough protected. I cannot accept it. So this offers us another more deeper perspective to work on with our clients. The, uh, there are psychological activities combined with this dimension, the perception to the given and the cognition. We can also find out uh, the structures, the laws of uh, what of the givens. We have the physical laws, the chemical laws, all these uh, economic laws. All this we must know, then we can make an, uh, uh, a car, we can construct an airplane according to the laws and then we can make use of it. And the same is true in, in psychology. In psychology we don't say speak about laws, but we speak about what are uh, patterns of behavior with which I have to count. And to recognize pattern of behaviors allow me to uh, come into an attitude of acceptance and saying, well, I will not be able to change this pattern of behavior, this constant aggressive behavior for the next two, three years, maybe never. If the person does not go in therapy, this will always be the same like this. And then in a couple therapy, we, we, we recognize that there, there are patterns of behavior and we tell them, it's a, you have to decide. If you can be with this pattern of behavior of your partner, then you can continue this relationship. But if you can't bear it, then it will be a hard life. And you, do you know that this will go on at least the next two, three years like this, more or less? So face the reality, face the being, confront people with the being, Confront ourselves with that, what is given. Mm -hmm.